Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cooking with E and T. Cooking with T and E. What's up? What's up? What's up, E and T gang? What's up? That's what's up. What's up, E and T gang? Welcome back. I'm in the kitchen. And this is the third video. So the first video, you need to see my barbecue chicken that I'm working on. It's in the oven. It's still getting done. You know, me come last. But you started first. However, now that I've done, I'm doing the barbecue chicken, I did the pasta salad. So check that video out. It is good to go for all of y'all, all right? So now I'm going to do fried cabbage. So today I'm just going to do a basic fried cabbage. That's going to consist of salt, pepper, onion. You could use a whole one, just a mat. Just depends on how much cabbage you're cooking. So you can use a whole onion and, of course, the cabbage. I'm going to keep this good and simple for y'all today, okay? All right. So I'm going to get started. I have my cabbage up here. I got it sitting. I already rinsed it. I already did everything. I'm going to get the cutting board and I'm going to cut up my cabbage for y'all. I'm going to cut it up. Okay. I'm going to make sure y'all see how to cut up this cabbage. Okay. Let me see. Let me get y'all closer just to get close to you. All right. There we go. Let me take y'all down just a little bit. There we go. So this is a basic cut. Y'all don't need to pay attention to me. Y'all need to pay attention to how I cut this, okay? You can start off just right here in the front. And I want to cut this. Well, no. Let me cut this core out right here. Just a little triangle. Hit it to the side a little bit. And then it pops right out. Let me do it for you one more time, okay? Go right here where the core is. Put a little triangle in there. Bend it on one, both sides, basically. And it pops right on out. No struggles. I'm going to try to make this a short video. So let me show y'all how I do it. I kind of do mine a little bit thin so it can cook a little faster. And that's how I just basically cut mine, okay? Turn this this way a little bit. Put on right down there like that. And that's how we do that. I mean, like it really isn't anything to do. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And knock that out, and then we're going over to the stove, and we're going to cook this, and we're going to call it a day. Okay, babies? And y'all got to understand that this will shrink. It might look like a lot. It really isn't. Because it will shrink. I think that's enough right there. Go down in the middle of those pieces. And go down in the middle of these. This slice. Okay? Let's get over to the stove, and let's get it started. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we from the South, baby. Cast iron skillet in the house. Please believe. Y'all don't need to see me. Y'all need to learn how to cook, how to do this thing. There we go. All right. I got something else on the stove over here. But however, y'all don't need to know about that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some olive oil. Okay, just like that. Let me get my spatula up out of here. And we're going to make sure that this get all the way around the skillet, okay? I'm going to turn this down because what we're going to add first is the onions. You slice your onions the way you like to slice yours, okay? Okay, let it just saute. We're not gonna let it saute all the way down. 
but we're just going to let it saute a little bit, okay? We want the, um, the skillet to get the flavor of that onion, okay? All right, y'all see that? We don't want to burn it. We just want to saute it a little bit. And there we go. I don't want to saute it all the way down. I just kind of want it to sweat a little bit the way you see it. And this one here is almost a whole onion. So normally I use a whole onion, but this is enough for this small cabbage. Okay. Now we're going to add the cabbage in there. A little bit at a time because in the end, this is going to sweat down and then we'll have to add some more, okay? I'm not seasoning yet because I want the flavor of the onion and the cabbage to get to know each other, okay? They got to get to know each other. We might could get all this in here one time and then let it sweat. Come on. The last of the cabbage is right here. Let me break some of that down. Those nice pieces. Because I like this part of the cabbage. The whiter part of the cabbage is delicious to me. It really is. <clears throat> I don't like that hard piece. But that's all good. We can just take it out because we're going to break that down just a little bit. But I love the whiter part of the cabbage. All right. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to just flip it around a little bit. Get some of them onions off the bottom. And get that right on top, okay? And we're doing this in a cast iron skillet, baby. Because it's called what? fried cabbage there you go and people add sausage and stuff but i'm just doing a basic one just a basic one today okay all right we're gonna do that and then let that sit there and simmer but however we're gonna add the top on to this and fried cabbage we really really are but we want to get that water on up in there. That's what we want. So y'all pay attention to that right quick. While well, I just clean up a little bit to finish up that right there once it's sweat and everything for y'all. How y'all doing today? How are my working parents out there that work so hard to provide for their children to make sure they have everything they need? Everything they need and their wants met out here. I am doing this for y'all. Give y'all some easy dishes that y'all can do. If y'all have ideas of things that y'all want me to do, please, please feel free to use that comment box so I can see if I can do it for you. I don't mind helping what our subscribers want us to do. That's what's up. So y'all, it's a holiday today, and I decided not to barbecue, but I'm making this nice little meal for y'all. And like I said, please go and check out that baked barbecue chicken, well, baked chicken with barbecue sauce. If don't have barbecue sauce, and y'all can check out how I season it, give it a little outdoor flavor with the smoke, uh, liquid smoke. So y'all can check that out as well. And um, on top of checking that out, y'all can also check out that pasta salad. And I'm going to have one more for y'all after this video. It's going to be another video to show y'all how to do asparagus. And that's going to be a very, very short video because it's not much to do to that. And I like mine to have a crunch. I do not like mine to be soggy. Okay. Let's come and check and see what's going on with this here cabbage now that we don't let it sweat a little bit. 
Yeah, see? You got a little sweat, but it's gonna fry. It's gonna do what it needs to do. There you go. Let's get these pieces down up in here. And right now, I have it on a medium heat. I don't want to rush it. I really don't. Look at that. It's sweating down good. All right. And we're going to put the top on it again because we want it to sweat, sweat, sweat. So you know what, y'all? I'm going to go ahead and put the top down on it. And when it cook a little bit more, I'm going to come back to y'all. I'm going to come back. I promise. Because I ain't going to leave. I'll hang it with a half a dish. I want y'all to shine. Okay? I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back for the cabbage video. All right, I got it to fry a little bit. I almost messed it up, y'all. But however, it's all good. We got it frying. Let me see how I'm going to get y'all to watch. See this? There you go. All right. So we done got it to fry up a little bit. The little onions got the little fried look on it and everything. Don't worry. It's all good, y'all. Trust me. Because you would not see this video if it wasn't. So anyway... Let me um tell y'all what I do at this point. At this point, I use pepper vinegar. So that's a vinegar with like peppers in it and stuff. So I'm going to get my pepper vinegar sauce and add it into this for flavor. Okay, just as such. I'm going to have to add some more vinegar into this because I like to put it on even afterwards. And it's just going to make it even more tender. Okay? And so at this point of the cabbage, you also want to add your salt and your pepper. Okay? So let's get to adding the salt and pepper. I got my pepper. I love pepper, so I'm going to put a little extra, okay? And I'm not going to use as much salt. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five of them. And you can add whatever seasons that you choose to add to yours, okay? But this is my fried cabbage. And I like it like that. I like it like that. Fried cabbage, okay? Not steam or sauteed. That looks good, y'all. And we don't have to put the top back onto this, okay? We just need it to sweat down the way we had it to sweat down, okay? All right. So, let it just kind of fry up some more. Let me get me some vinegar to put inside of my peppers. And we're going to get ready to do the asparagus video. And you can go buy you some jalapeno peppers at the grocery store and cut them in half and stick them down in a jar or something. And then um, just basically pour it over, let it sit and simmer and pour it over into your cabbage and you can use it afterwards. Okay? So that's what we're doing now. And we're going to let that simmer. And basically, it'll be done in just maybe about three more minutes. And you can fry it as long as you want to, how soft you want it to be. I kind of like mine to be a little bit more on the crunchy side. I don't like it to be too, too soft. But isn't that pretty? Okay. 
And you can fry it as long as you want to. You can fry it down even more. You can use, let it stay in here another 10 minutes if you want to, but let it get even more softer if you want to. But I like mine more like this, but a little bit, maybe about another three, three, four minutes. Look at them. And you can add colorful bell peppers into it. I just chose to do a plain fried cabbage. I would like to tell all my subscribers and even people that's not subscribed, I want to say thank y'all for following us. Um, make sure you leave comments down below. Make sure y'all um, give us ideas of things to do. That might be coming. That might be tea coming in the door. Mercedes. Don't let me read over here. I said, don't let me read over here. Okay, y'all. See if I can get a little more light over here for y'all. So y'all can see this. That's basically it. That is how you fix fried cabbage. And like I say, y'all can fix it to your liking and how long you want it. I kind of like mine to still be a little firm, not mushy, mushy. So if you want it a little bit more, I did about three more minutes when I said it. So if you want to add like maybe three more minutes to yours to kind of soften it up a little more, that's all you would need to do. So we appreciate you coming back cooking with E and T. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment down below and come back, come back, come back, come back. Boom, cooking with E and T. Peace.